Hey guys, this is Beck. Welcome to my messy desk and this is my design team project for Shabby Scratch for the month of May. Um, this is not the original <laughs> project that I was working on for Shabby Scraps. This is actually something that I ended up doing in Georgia. Um, what happened was I was working on that mini and I was working on that mini and I was working on that mini and then that mini made me mad and it, um, it has gone to the island of begun and never done because I just cannot seem to pull myself together with that. So while I was in Georgia, um, this magical thing happened where I went to a laundromat in the, the hotel and the bee had fallen off of the sign and I went, that's mine. So I took the bee and it was, let's see if it's still, no I painted it everywhere, sorry. It was a red color and I just gessoed it and I painted it with um, white and then I took this gorgeous script paper and I mod podged it on there and then I inked the edges of the bee with um, what did I ink the edges with? Fresh burlap distressing that's what I did. Distressed burlap um, distress ink and then um, I started embellishing it and how I did that was I started with this piece right here. I wanted it to have charms hanging down so I used one of the shabby scraps and I'm going to say this word wrong and I'm so sorry kaboshes, kabanches, I don't know what they're called, they're four cameos they're like little plates and you stick the cameos on them. Um, I happen to have this cameo of a mother and child so I thought since I'm a mom it would be great. Um, this charm right here is also from Shabby Scraps. It is the birdcage and I thought with the birdcage at the top and the bird at the bottom it would be awesome so that's what I did. The next thing I did was I took one of the hangers from Shabby Scraps and I added some dangly bits to the hangers. Um, these are just beads and charms from my own stash so we won't talk about those. Um, this is the key from Shabby Scraps and I added that as well. Uh, the scissors from Shabby Scraps. The Eiffel Tower from Shabby Scraps. I created a long dangly bit with the teapot from Shabby Scraps. And the Big Bird to finish off the, um, the entire little dangly bit. I love metal, and I love working with metal, and I love metal being on my project, so that worked out for me. Um, moving on, what else do we got going on here? Oh, okay, up here. We have the, the peach resin flower, and then this is the large lace, I don't remember the name of it, Chris, I'm so sorry. Large lace butterfly, and I sprayed that with artsy copper, and it turned out this gorgeous like distressed pink color and I love that so I left it alone. This is the uh, the sea green um, resin flower from the shop and when we move down here to the stick pins you'll see a bunch of beads, bunch of beads, bunch of beads. These acrylic butterflies right here. Those are from Shabby Scraps. That is blue, that is um, purple. This is just a bead that someone has sent me in a rack and I liked it and I thought it matched really well so I used it. Um, down here, I've got another one of those sea green um, resin roses. Here I've got one of the small butterflies, and I sprayed that with silver artsy. And then I have the um, the peach, and then we have this little bunch of flowers. These five calla lilies, I bought those from Crafted.com, and they are paper. And then these are wild orchid crafts, and this was this little hangy bit here was something that was sent to me in a rack from Carissa I want to say and I can't remember for sure if that was from Carissa but I liked it and I thought it looked good in there so I used it. Um, now on to this bit right here which is one of the chiffon flowers from the lace or from the trim that um, Shabby Scrap sells and I've got one of the big butterflies sprayed in silver and one of the little butterflies sprayed in copper glued down to it and that's all I did. It was one of those moments where you find an item and you think 
I can use that one day and then it just happened to be that day because well I was in Georgia and um, Georgia hotels aren't exactly what I would call exciting so that's my piece for May for shabby scraps and I did use a awful lot of shabby scraps materials on it um, you know what, matter of fact, whole no, I'm not going to show you anything else. That's it for now. Um, have a great day, and um, hope you enjoyed.